Hi guys! Okay, so <clears throat> I'm actually like right now in the process of uploading my um, Cheerlicious hair tutorial. And um, I just wanted to show you what my bow looks like for cheer. Um, I actually made this. I made them for my team. And just put down below a comment if you want a tutorial on how to make cheer bows. It looks like this. So it's like our colors, orange, black, and white. Um, and then at the bottom it has Cerulli crystals. I can't say that name, but Cerulli. And then you, I kind of got twisted because it was in my bag. But you put it in your hair like this. Like that. So, yeah, now that that's out of the way, I'm going to show you guys my drugstore foundation routine. I know that I said with this camera, sorry, I'm just in a sweatshirt because it's freezing in my house. Um, because we had our windows open all night and it was like, Friday night of Labor Day weekend, I think that was September 3rd, and today's September 4th, the Saturday of Labor Day weekend. So we left our windows open last night, and it got freezing cold, so I have a sweatshirt on. Um, and it's, never mind, I can't show you. Um, <coughs> but I felt so bad that I hadn't filmed a, sorry, my eyeliner fell, makeup tutorial on my channel yet, because therefore it is a makeup channel, and I feel like that might be part of the reason why I don't have as many subscribers, and I know you can't see the quality, but today I'm showing you my foundation routine anyway, just so you guys, like, don't get angry with me for not showing you a foundation routine. Uh, sorry, I need a towel here to rub my hands on. So, I don't have a Sephora close to me, it's an hour away, and there is no Mac store in my whole entire state, so... Most of my stuff is drugstore makeup. Um, I know that it helps a lot of you, but it doesn't help some of you. So um, I'm actually using my Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. And I, no, I didn't. Um, this is actually my first pump foundation. I love it. Um, it has a lock on it. So I love this stuff so much. So I put it on the back of my hand, just one full pump. And um, <clears throat> piece of pink 04, she actually discontinued her channel. But, um, she actually got me into this foundation, <coughs> and, uh, um, well, first I just, here, let me see you closer. Okay, so first I just dab it on, I look really, really, really pale. I'm actually not that pale. But anyway, first I dab it on my face, and then I use my pointing finger and my middle finger to just do circles on it with it and I go in outer circles that way it goes along with my hairline or with my hair. Um, so what I was saying is she said that it's easiest to use your fingers as long as you don't streak you have to be careful because a sponge doesn't give you the coverage and a stippling brush just doesn't seem to work as good with this foundation and I tried all of them I even tried a flat foundation brush it does not work so this actually does give you really good um, coverage. It gives you um, medium to full, in my opinion, but I also don't need a lot of coverage. So I do the first side of my face, and of course you want to wash your hands before. Then I do my second side of my face. The only thing I can't do really for tutorials for um, makeup right now is eyes. Okay, then you do the outer circles again, because your hairs on your face point down. And if you're cautious about having a foundation line, this stuff does not cause as bad as a foundation line as long as you don't cake it all on. And you can have someone check it before too. Then I just get some more from the palm of my hand and I put it on my chin. My chin is probably one of the most problem areas on my face, other than my nose, which I'm doing next. Between the eyebrows, then I just get a little, bit, like, a little bit more, about like a fourth of a pump, or a third of a pump, and I just dot it on my forehead. And I don't know what product it is that I use in my hair, but Along my hairline right here where my bangs lay, it, it's been breaking out lately, so. Then I just really make sure on your forehead that you do blend it into your hairline, because that's where a lot of people get really bad hairlines. 
And it does help cancel out redness, which I really like because my face gets a lot of redness. Okay, then, um, this stuff makes all the difference under my eyes. It absolutely takes away my bags. I don't even need concealer with this. So I just get a simple dot on my finger. Let me get closer. And then I put it under my eyes. And I use my ring finger for under my eyes. I just feel like it does it better. And then I put just one more coat on, focusing on the line of the bag and the inner tear duct. Just make sure it blends in with everything. Then I do the other eye. Just place it with this finger. And then work it out with my ring finger. And pulling um, concealer foundation, whatever you're using, from your inner tear duct outward will um, brighten up your eyes and make you look more awake. So going like this and pushing in will actually take away from your brightness and look you, make you look less awake and less aware. But pulling outward will actually um, help brighten up your eyelid or eyes. Okay, then I just do that. And then I just take my hands and I just go like this and make sure everything is blended. Then I go like this along the jawline. Okay, now I set and use my foundation. And this is the one I take to school. It's the L'Oreal Paris True Match 1 and Warm W2 Light Ivory. And I'm pretty much gone with it, but I keep this in my school bag. The one I use at home before school is this one. It's the blue CoverGirl one, which is the oil control one, and I have it in 570 Classic Ivory. And I love this stuff to death. I've only used it, I've been using it for about a week, but I don't take it to school because I'm trying to spare it. It's kind of hard to open, though. Um, so it kind of looks like an, an oyster shell, in my opinion. Like, I'm probably blinding you guys, but there's the camera, the mirror, and then there's the product. Um, it is pretty sheer, so you want to be careful with that, but it does help absorb my oil. So I take a round powder brush, and I get it in there, and then I top off the axis, and then I just work it all the way around my face. Right away I do the jawline, just because I want to kind of buff it out down there. Um, I really, really, really like kabuki brushes with powders to set, just because I feel like it gives a better coverage, but my kabuki brush got lost, so I'm actually in the process of buying a new one, so if you have a good suggestion, let me know. But this powder <coughs> is, um, it doesn't only absorb your oil whenever you have it on, your face, like oil on your face, it helps prevent the oil, so it kind of like fills up the cavities that the oil comes out of, in a way, but it doesn't make your face look cakey. Okay, so make sure that it's all over your face, because this will just help, um, keep your face dry. Um, <clears throat> so I just set it and everything. And that is all my, oh, then I take my ring finger again, I just get some from the powder, and then I put it under my eyes. Um, I forgot to tell you guys, I primed my face before the video on accident, because I thought it was recording. And it's just the one from the drugstore I have it in my room. But um, So, that, and then, if I want color, I use a colored blush, but I just want kind of a highlighter, and this is the CoverGirl Classic Color one, in 570 Natural Glow. And it's a really peachy pink gorgeous color. You could use it as a highlight, as a normal blush if you want to build it up. Or you could even use it as a pretty eyeshadow as well. It's kind of like an opaque, pearly, pinky peach color. It reminds me so much of um, Peachy Keen by MAC, which the lighting is doing the color no good. But it's actually a little bit more pinky. But um, it reminds me so much of Peachy Keen by MAC, but more of a pink undertones to it. So if you like Peachy Keen, but you wish I had a little bit more pink to it, this is your perfect bet. Then I take a, so this is the foundation, or powder brush, this is the blush brush. So that is a big difference. And I just go one, two, three, tap. And then you want to smile, or you can go like this to see your cheekbones. And if you smile, it's going to be right here. So you want to go kind of lower than the apples. And then just work it there, because actually I got from Juicy Style 7, Bobby Brown Top. 
her that when she has a makeup line. If you didn't know, she's a makeup artist. And I just kind of work it on there until it gets the color I want. I look so washed out. Okay, and then I do the other cheek. And doing that will just make your cheekbones pop out of your face. And I have really high apparent cheekbones, so I don't need um, a lot if I'm highlighting or contouring or anything like that. But you can see them very well right here. Okay, then I just smile and see if the sides are even. Put a little bit more there. And that's all. I hate their, I hate CoverGirl's um, brushes that comes with them. They're so rough. But I never use them anyway. See how we're doing on time? I went over. So, guys, see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.